I see it. I don't see it. What uh, up, what's everybody? Up, bro? Oh, I uh, left the stream boss on. Hey, everybody! Welcome to episode twenty. Uh, Skep Talk Live. It's gonna be what up? Good shit Hi. today. Uh, yeah. As always, I'm Udo, and that's Shayna, and that's Jason. Uh, how you doing today, Shayna? Doing pretty good. How about yourself? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Twisty Top Hatter in the chat. Jason, how's your day been going? Uh, pretty fucking awesome. I'm really excited to find out what our mystery topic is. Yeah, the guys uh, uh, do not know what the topic is today. I am the only one that knows because I had to be quickly become an expert in this obscure matter. Uh, <laughs> Milo says hi. I'm fucking excited. If there's a kitty on the stream. Milo oh, says hi. Milo. That's my favorite cat right there, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody, the... like, comment, subscribe for kitties. For, for, the, for Milo. <laughs> Milo's that kind of cat that, like, walks up to your expensive stuff, pushes it off of the counter while looking at you, <laughs> pauses, and then continues. Shows you his butt. <laughs> Zero fucks given. Oh yeah, he, he does that lots. <laughs> yes. Excellent. That's why he's my favorite. I mean, that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, podcast matters. Um, for those of you who do know who the drunken peasants are, they're actually the the reason I started this podcast. A uh, very big fan of the drunken peasants podcast and. I was like, I want to do like my, my you know, favorite YouTubers do. Uh, they have since, mm, so I want to say Saturday, that show is no longer a thing. Actually. Wait, what? Yeah, they shut down. Free chopper rides. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Uh, but That's yeah, it's fucking amazing. So they are no longer a podcast. Um, creative differences have pulled the the team apart, and uh, I mean they're moving on to different projects. So I'm really sad to hear that. Yeah, me too. But they were really good, and our primary competitor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that... Well, but I'm really sad to hear that because I like them. Yep. That means and, we don't have to move Thursdays anymore. Thursday, That's the idea true. of like the of moving Thursdays. There's, <laughs> there's <laughs> uh, um, Sean says hi. Yeah, for, yeah we saw. Uh, yeah. Tell him to get on the podcast. Start watching. Yeah, tell him to get on here. Support his family. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Squabbly, what's going on, yo? What up, squabs? Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's not a thing anymore, um, for anybody who, we used to advertise with them for 75 bucks a month, uh, I got 75 bucks a month back now, uh, gonna be looking for a new couple of things, uh, oh, what's up, Teaches, that's PC for Beaches, excellent, what up, Neverton, <laughs> nice, welcome back what to up, the Nef? podcast. Uh, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to come view our little nonsense fest here. I do know that what you do at this time is important to you, so thank you very much for taking the time off to do that. Uh, that dude is a workout master, dude. He works out seven days a week, and uh, like he's getting, he's like gone from not working out, and in the last year, like he's like, I'm getting ready to go do some bodybuilding competitions and shit, dude. Like crazy, yeah. He's he's gotten he's got mad skills in the gym. Uh, and it's because up, Brian, you know, who's been on this podcast before, is his personal trainer, sure. right? Yeah. So, well, I guess it's not even personal trainer relationship anymore. They are uh, they're workout partners now. Like to the point of where, yeah, like like one step up from fucking teacher student to fucking you know moving together to the to the student is now the master, <laughs> right? Uh, so the yeah, let's see, um. Let's move into some news for today. Uh, the news gods were quite kind to me today. I didn't have to do much work. Uh, it just kind of fell into my lap, which I always like it when it does that. Uh, so let's take a look here. Um, if I can find my gat dang controls. All right, so once again, as always, uh, we uh, what we do here is fair use, and it is meant for 
doing things like criticism, parody, news reporting, and research. And uh, like when we criticized Monster Cat for being a fucking piece <laughs> of garbage bot. Update on that. Actually, I was able to find <laughs> yeah. this this new thing that YouTube added where you can like cut out a song if uh, if you know that that's a problem. So oh, I, I think that's cool. then it was just because in our break music, we were using Monster Cat. And uh, so we cut those out. And now we're not copywritten on that video anymore. Which is real nice, right? Nice. So <laughs> we don't have to worry about, you know, uh, them monetizing our videos that are not monetized, right? Yeah, that's fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> that was the shit I was always like, I was just a little pissed off about. I'm like... We're not even big enough to yeah. really want to fucking do that yet. And yeah, they're like legit just fucking over the little guy for no reason. Right. They're like, oh, well, while well, we can. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Until we get the poll. Right. And y'all don't want anything to do with our crazy Skeptoc fans. <laughs> that will exactly. get on your shit, you two. We got some smart, yeah. We got some smart fans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <I'd be> afraid. <laughs> right. So We're fucking loco. Uh, if we uh go take a look here at the uh next story, I the first story I've got here actually. Uh, so this is one that has been hitting the a lot of the talk show uh like radio stuff in the morning. Like this hit it real hard this morning. Um, so I'm calling it bedded on hypocrisy. Uh, Kathy Gilroy, a woman who has cru crusaded against gambling in Illinois for years. Uh, she shut down all sorts of things like raffle contests for, uh, like, uh, not for profit, um, like organizations and stuff. Right. You guys, you guys following me? Yeah. Oh. Right. yeah, I am. Sorry. We're in chat and it's hilarious. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, uh, she... I want a free chopper ride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she um, takes down video poker cafes. Uh, she speaks out against casinos. Um, she... Is this because like, of a moral standing or does it turn out she's got like... She's a silent partner with like Oregon Lottery? <laughs> <laughs> well... It turns out, like, she she blew the whistle on $1.6 million of, uh, of raffles put on by the Veterans of Foreign Wars, uh, like, the situation, right? So they had raffles, and then she, she like, got them all turned in and got them a bunch of problems because they didn't That's do it correct, fucked up, right? Veterans. Right. Yeah. Uh, she just won $25,000 playing in a sweepstakes game at a gambling cafe in her home park. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god. After they Give that money back, woman. After they discovered that this happened, she said uh, to the news, I called my pastor friend and he said, oh my god. Or, and she said, oh my god, should I send it back? What should I do? Do I donate it? He said, don't feel guilty. You just got your, you just got paid for all your volunteer work against gambling. It's God showing oh, his god. grace. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. God. So she's told <laughs> Thank you for right, go ahead. Thank you for fighting gambling. Here's money for gambling. Right. And it turns out this is not the first thing. Uh she's won big screen TVs. She's won uh, a couple of other like thousand dollar prizes. She gambles all the fucking time. But uh Ah. I uh, so Neverton uh whatever the okay i gotta find out how to configure nightbot but i just ins installed a new bot to do some stuff i had no idea it was a goddamn nanny apparently it just got after you for spamming in caps <laughs> so uh i will find out how to fuck with nightbot so if something happens like that just don't uh i guess avoid all caps right now until i figure out how to fuck deal with that <laughs> no squabbly it came after you too <laughs> 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 it's deleting all these messages i don't know what's going on guys 
Oh, Is anyway. I able to, did I get through? I know, usually it gives us the option to, to say, to okay Oh, it, apparently but... I can just click these to let them go through, but uh, I'm not sure what it's doing on the stream here. Let me see. Uh, it looks like it's coming through on the on the stream, which is fine. So whatever, as long as free speech for mods. I was just clicking. Yeah, them. exactly. <laughs> yeah, you click them and they should come back. They should be allowed. Oh shit! All right, all right, <laughs> all right. So this lady sucks. That's our first story there. Uh, we're gonna move to the next story, right? Uh, and the next story, I want you guys, this is, I'm calling this Today in Art. Can you guys guess what this cobra is crafted from? Feces. Alright, Shana, what do you think? Gosh, I, it almost looks like that, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. This is a good pile of shit, but it looks... Um, I, I'm gonna go, can I say the same thing? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna say a pile of shit. <laughs> and we've got uh, we've got a lot of uh, people saying poop in the chat. Uh, Mikhail Bopisov, who is who? This is so funny because I got this directly from a Russian website, and it's I'm just reading this directly, and it's really hard to get through. But Mikhail Bopisov, who is farmer, <laughs> gets his who is farmer, who is farmer? In yeah. In mother country. Gets his inspiration to create his poo sculptures from the Chinese calendar. Fucking knew it. An artist has made a massive <laughs> chicken out of frozen poop to celebrate the Chinese New Year of the rooster. Mikhail Bopisov... The... Chinese poop? No, it's Russian poop, actually. Uh, Mikhail Bopisov is the farmer behind the unusual creation of the village in the village of Yuloba in northeastern Russian Saka Republic. His giant rooster measures 11.5 feet tall and is nearly 14 feet long. I have a selection of such of his artworks. Nice. So Why the fuck does he need to use <laughs> clay or, like, anything else? No, just, it's poop time, dude. So Holy shit. This is a poop dog sled team. Including a Bear. Poop, poop sled in the back. With a real dog that's all like, why are we here? Yeah. <laughs> what have you done with my excrement? Uh, and a Chinese lady. Neverton says, like... oh my god, I hope it never warms up there. Correct. Yeah, that would be real bad. Yeah. So, I'm pretty sure this whole house is made of poop. And a cartoon fucking dog coming out of the front of it. Yep. I think you're right. He made shit logs. Yeah, yeah. No, he formed and logs then he made into shit poop. Boards. <laughs> and then he exactly. probably used nails. There's, there's probably some like some some shit furniture inside. Yeah. This guy's attention to detail is phenomenal. It's actually pretty no, fucking decent. I've never had the urge to play with shit. <laughs> I disagree with I'm gonna, you. I'm gonna. Well, maybe you. I'm. I'm talking personally. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. There's a collection of shit pansies. Like you've never made a shit angel. <laughs> what? <laughs> so shit pansies, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> With little shit He's books. So it's like a bizarre. it's like the Keezy Square fucking sculpture out of fucking shit and chimpanzees. It is. <laughs> At some point, he had to be like, "What am I going to do with all this shit?" Exactly. Time, <laughs> time for reindeer sculpture. <laughs> reindeer sculpture. I don't think these are actually reindeers; these are goats, oh, right? But there is a man riding on a shit goat. Jesus, <laughs> that's so gross. Gross or creative? Yeah, come on. I mean, definitely got creative. Definitely. Everybody, <laughs> I want you to look at the screen and realize this is when liberals go too far with recycling. <laughs> uh, <laughs> these ones need sticks. too much, Russia. These ones need some sticks to too hold much. them up, right? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> like this, there's so much poop in these poop horses. It needs sticks to hold up the poop horses. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe he just didn't eat enough fiber during that month. <laughs> I don't think these are the farmer's poop, but they're, they're... You think that. Well, I mean, that should be one of the projects that you could easily put a, pour a little bit of yourself into, you know? Exactly. 
Uh, and I'm pretty sure even their cows drink vodka over there. Here's a shit dragon. I got this one specifically so Shana could see it. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. <laughs> it's a poop dragon. It has no wings. <laughs> it's got a wing. It's right there. Right there on the back. That's the wing. Well. It's so does it, is it's it, got spikes does and it shit. Breathe, <laughs> is it shard breathing? Right. Does it breathe farts? Yeah. That's what I want to know. This is and definitely not fire. This is the 11 foot tall shit. This guy might be him, right? This might be the guy, right? But that's it's the, definitely the guy. Dude. That's the 11 he foot tall. He definitely wrote his own <laughs> shit. <laughs> this guy is the shit sculptor. Look at his face, dude. Look at... <laughs> He's tasted his product. Oh, God. You can tell in that face right there. Right. He's like, it's much better with cocoa. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> he doesn't act. This guy doesn't actually have a mustache. There's, that's <laughs> yeah, I know that's not a mustache. Hey, you gotta warm up the poop, the frozen poop, somehow when you're sculpting. <sighs> Don't criticize the artist. <sighs> <laughs> breathing heavily on the poop. Um, whatever this is. This fucking nightmare, whatever this is, I think it's supposed oh to be. God, what? This might be the Holy creature shit. that told him to start crafting fucking <laughs> shit sculptures. Right? He's like the chupacabra came to me oh, in my dreams. My <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> it's dead fucking. It looks eyes. like the Loch Ness monster's shit daughter. You could only <laughs> do this in an icy environment. Right. Because it would just yeah. turn into fucking an, uh, like a criminal Mush offense gross. anywhere else, right? I think I saw yeah. that in Star Wars. <laughs> fucking. All right. Moving on to the next story. What happens in Thailand stays in, oh God. So. In, oh God. <laughs> uh, wife accidentally bites off her husband's testicle in a surge of excitement. Oh, yeah. I fucking. Hate when I get my wife excited while she's got my testicles in her mouth. <laughs> during aggressive, when would that be a good idea? This was all during an aggressive lovemaking session in Taiwan. Holy shit! Oh, maybe it's not Thailand. It's Taiwan. I thought I saw Thailand. Anyway, so this is wrong. It's all the same. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is this is you know I got this from fucking uh, a, a foreign website so. Whatever, I translated things incorrectly or fucking auto-corrected them incorrectly oh, whatever. or whatever, how it works. Uh, yeah. Cultural insensitivity is definitely going to be a theme today. So Yeah, totally. And if they're not Americans, well. <laughs> so, uh, the man was holding his severed testicle in a rice bowl when the ambulance arrived. His wife repeatedly said, I accidentally bit it off. According to media reports, the incident occurred in the way in the wee hours of Boxing Day in Taichung, West Taiwan. Uh, what, the day after Christmas? Right. Merry Damn. Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'll be taking that testicle back to Amazon. Uh, the man uh, was rushed to uh, the hospital. Um, after his wife chewed off one of his testicles during an aggressive lung bleeding session, the paramedics arrived at the couple's home. They apparently saw the 51-year-old man named Wang, which is amazing, wearing a robe and holding his severed testicle in a rice bowl. The wife repeatedly explained, I accidentally bit it off. Uh, he... Apparently this repeats like four times. Hold on. Why is that happening? Um... I mean, it was written in Thailand. Right. His, uh, scrotum was sutured but his right testicle was not reattached for the fear of infection. So, that's gone now. Uh, he's, re he's still recovering in the facility at the time of the writing, and his still wife, which is uh, very important... Um, what? Right. Uh, is reported to suffer from a mental illness. So... Wait, his wife is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But apparently, okay, in so a surge of excitement. Accidentally? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> accident makes sense, then. Yeah, it's very possible that she accidentally got so excited she bit off his nuts. But <laughs> I don't buy it. <laughs> I don't buy it. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not 
buying sorry, what you're setting I'm down sure you here. I'm kind of try a little <laughs> bit. It's not an accident. Right. I, I don't know unless you're doing something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Mach Ness. The Mach Ness monster. Um, it's actually spelled uh, C K, but I uh, did uh, C H. But anyway. Yeah, as you should. Uh, right. Uh, could so there's a freaky head apparently now appearing out of Albanian lakes. So. Uh, there is a, either a second Loch Ness monster or a second person pretending to be a Loch Ness. Ooh, Wait, shit. where did it show up? Albania. Albania. That's definitely real, right? Because Albanians never do anything. Right. But apparently, never is the there news. a water? Oh, I'm gonna... There's a but. This, there's a video for this. I couldn't find one that didn't have ads on it. It actually hadn't been uploaded to YouTube that I had seen. Um, all I could find was ones on, like, random news websites, and they have, like, ingrown ads that will get us fucking kicked off of the internet. Uh, Squabbly brings up a point. If the Earth is hollow, it could easily get from Albania to Loch Ness. Free Chopper Rides Ireland. brings up a Russian submarine, and the video that I watched, it could very well be a fucking submarine. It's fucking... Yeah, what did you have, Shana? Well, also the the theory that I had a marine biology my marine biology class the the teacher's theory was I think it was a pleosaurus or something like that. Pleosaurus, yeah, 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 yeah pleosaurus. It, it it can be in fresh water and salt water, and they swim really deep, and that was like the least the most likely theory. So it could, if that was true, get to the seas. I was I'm looking at the map. It it's a big you know, but it's a theoretical possibility. <laughs> right, right, but it's also a Loch Ness monster theory. So, well, I don't think it's a Loch Ness. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's right. pretty fair. But anyway, so this is uh, this is this is news from today about the Loch Ness monster. So I'll be actually watching this pretty closely because we have to do a Loch Ness monster episode sometime soon. So I just figured I wouldn't cover this until I had all the evidence for everything. So. Uh, Are you sure. We just we just put this on everybody's radar and know that it's coming in for a skeptic right. episode I'm... near you. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> in uh, fucking disgusting news, uh, this story is called "Just Rinse It Out." Um... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Start. <laughs> There's no like, part of that that gives me any kind of confidence in dental hygiene. But so this has nothing oh, to do with no. dental anything. Uh, a, yeah, I know. a New Jersey surgeon medical's license has been temporarily suspended for allegedly reusing disposable anal catheters on multiple patients. Oh my god, that's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Attorney General Christopher Perino says that East Brunswick-based colon and rectal surgery Sanjeev Pankatar uh, allegedly washed, uh, or washed and reused the one-use catheters that are inserted into patients during medical procedures. State officials say that they have the evidence that Pankatar only ordered only five catheters during the time when he produ or performed 82 procedures requiring them. Oh my god. The state board medical no. examiners what? unanimously voted to suspend his license last week and he was play and he uh, placed patients in the clear and immediate danger. His license will remain temporarily suspended pending a full hearing on the State Office of Administrative Law and until the Board of Medical Examiners can take final action based on further findings. But! <laughs> uh, Remember, folks, he's just doing his job at fighting global warming. Recycle all butt plugs that you ever have to use at any time. <laughs> but yeah, dude, so reusing butt catheters yeah the boob sculpture is something like <laughs> it's frozen at least right right <laughs> it's definitely not you human also shit don't, like have to touch them or go near them or have anything to do with them you're in a surgery this is not even something you get a choice this doctor's just doing this it's just well yeah it's just like real too <laughs> you can just rinse off a poop sculpture and it's perfectly fine <laughs> This is a, this is just like condoms, dude. You just turn them inside out or rinse them off, one of the two. Okay. <laughs> so gross, dude. Yeah, that's fucking terrifying. 
Um, I'll make it work. <laughs> yeah, that's a terrifying is a good way to say it. He's uh, the Jersey Devil, bro. Exactly. Uh, still help me come up with this one. Uh, Mama, I'm coming home. Uh, I like that. Wagoner County, Oklahoma, the mother of a seven-year-old who wrecked a stolen car this week says this is not the first time her son has gotten behind the wheel. I swear that this was like just like another story that we had covered, right? Yeah, I was like, what? But this is What's a, wrong with these fucking another parents? kid. Another kid who is stealing cars. Jeez. And uh, so this kid, right? Uh, she's been trying to get try the custody of her son for three years, and the kid keeps stealing uh, cars, and this is the fourth car this kid stole this week. What? what the fuck? Trying to drive back to his mom. Just let him steal a motorcycle so it well, just fucking ends quickly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the seven-year-old... Old? Seven. Seven. I'm gonna say let that fucking kid go... Some, there's a reason that seven-year-old is trying to steal cars to go back to mom. So... The That's police say he's lucky to be alive after he drove the stolen car more than 100 miles per hour, ran off the road, and flipped the vehicle three times while not wearing a safety belt. Oh Holy my shit. God. Yeah. Uh, terrifying. The question's, where were his dad? Where, were, where was his... Why was he alone? The mother is asking. Where was the parental guidance? Um, uh, let me see... I know that he did this. He chose to pick those keys up. However, if he would have had the right parental guidance, he should not have been able to get those keys. Um, this is all stuff that his mom said, right? But and the kids, uh, or the yeah, the kid was didn't wasn't allowed wasn't allowed by the father to comment. So, um, so yeah, crazy shit second kid and i found this image and i was like this is amazing yeah um it turns really out the first image i used for this dude was i was dude paying attention i typed in car chase and took one of the first images i could find it was a fucking oj simpson like <laughs> <laughs> image it was the white bronco and i just wasn't paying yeah, attention yeah. guys in the chat were all like um that's oj simpson i was like Oh. I'm not sure if this is going to play well. And as far as I know, this picture is actually O.J. Simpson 2. But somebody photoshopped out O.J. Simpson and put a kid in a little tykes car. So, <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking perfect, yeah. Alright. Uh, moving on. This one actually, uh, I want to ask you guys a question before we go into the story. So, questions of qualifications. So... If you guys were going to go get a medical procedure done, and it was a uh, a a personal one, say, Jaina, you were going in for a you know a gynecologist visit, and Jason, you were going in for your your male physical, right? And uh, you were a little bit uncomfortable. I mean, you may have to put yourself into a, into a mindset for this one. You're uncomfortable with the opposite sex being down there, right? And, uh, so you request the same sex, which is something that is often done, right? So say you yeah. want you want to get uh, a physical and you just want a dude down there, or you want a girl down there based on your, your preference. Um, and the doctor shows up and is a trans member of the, uh, uh the, uh, the opposite, I guess you'd have to say, okay, so... A woman transitioning to male for Jason, and a man transitioning to female for Shayna. How would you feel about that? I wouldn't give a shit. I'd be like, oh, look, I got both bases covered. <laughs> <laughs> right, but I mean, imagine that you are you were uncomfortable about having a woman look at your dick. Yeah. Hello, well, I don't... I, I mean, mean I could, she's I not a woman anymore. So. Correct. I mean... You know what so, I mean? So as a, as a woman... Where I'm looking at this and I'm I'm seeing that's a pap smear happening, right? <laughs> um, which I've had done by a man and a woman. D my general thing, especially when I was younger, I wasn't super comfortable with the male doctor simply for the fact that I couldn't wrap my mind around why a male would decide to do that to be. However, 
in my experience, I've never actually had, I've never been to an actual gynecologist. It's, it's largely uh, registered nurses. Right. So that doesn't bother me. I have, I, as soon as they walk in the room, I, I assess pretty quickly. This is not a creepy person. This is not a creepy situation. Okay. So I wouldn't care. And actually, anecdotally, the nurse, when um, the doctor that I grew up with was transgender. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it was like normal. I kind of normalized that. It didn't seem too strange. <laughs> it's a very manly woman that was, you know, doing all of the, Free things before i'd go see my doctor right i love free <laughs> choppa's quote up here i'm gonna need a permanent woman <laughs> uh i can't like i can definitely try and put myself into the headspace of someone who would be uncomfortable with the opposite sex looking at their junk uh but i'm not sure i could actually put my mind in the head sense of someone who gives a shit about transgenderism so uh, I have a hard yeah. time giving a correct, like not a correct, but a. Uh, it's a tough. A, it's right? a tough question so, because it should really come down to who's the best. Who's the best at this? Who's right. Going to be the best. Well, sort of this? right, right. So like, it doesn't matter what their sex is. You can be <laughs> uncomfortable with the uh, someone from the opposite sex. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's fine. Right. And if you have a problem with trans people for that same I'm reason, know, I'm not really. I'm gonna say if you're I'm not opposed you're, you're to that. You're dealing I get with it. somebody that that is feeling uncomfortable. You probably shouldn't send in the transgender doctor. Probably right. you can help it. Yeah, it's totally. Not, it's not because you shouldn't. It's just the comfort level for the patient because you're obviously dealing with somebody that has some personal issues, and that's not your job to fix. You're there to just do whatever medical procedure needs to be done. Correct. Yeah, right. and if they're like, okay, this is somebody who like, it's, it's, for it's, me, it's, I'm like, I don't care. They're, they clearly don't want to be a woman. They don't give a shit about that stuff. Like, I'll be like, personally, I'd be fine. But like, I can totally understand where somebody would be like, well, you're like still kind of a woman. You, you know, you haven't like crossed that barrier yet. You know what I mean? Like, I can totally see like why people would be uncomfortable about it. Right. I don't know that I would be so uncomfortable that I could ever possibly share it with social media. Right. <laughs> like, fuck, what's wrong with you? So here's uh, uh you know here's the story, right? Uh National Health Service is forced to apologize after a woman having a smear test specifically requested a female only to be met by a pre op transgender medic with a stubble and a beard. Um patient asked to be seen by a female nurse but was met by a biologically male nurse when she pointed out the mistake. The nurse said, I'm not male, I'm transsexual. Uh, the patient has now received an apology from the London-based National Health Service Trust. So, so they apologize for sending her in? Is it, yeah. Or him in, I guess? Him it, in. Uh, it, I, mean, I believe that if they have gone transgender and decided that that is what they, they are, it would be a her, right? Yeah. So... Um, Woman, oh, it was the other way around. Got it. Right. It was a formerly okay. a man who is becoming a woman. So okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Sorry. Have, sorry. Would have qualified, right? If you uh, upon that qualification, yeah. right? Um, mm -hmm. but uh, the she was she said she was embarrassed. Um, and upon being called in for the procedure, the patient said she was distressed to discover the nurse was biologically male. When she pointed out the mistake, the nurse responded that her gender was not male and that they were transsexual. Uh, in the end, the patient decided not to go ahead with the procedure. Um, all, all everybody's choice. They can do whatever they need to do. If you're uncomfortable with it, uh, the, I bet that doctor's got more people to go take a look at. Right? But, uh... Oh, yeah. I mean, there was a time that most people felt uncomfortable to have uh, anybody of color or anybody other than white as a doctor walk into the room that's a barrier we mostly got over and this is one that i would hope we'll get over to it's understandable right. it's past generations current generations all meshing together in very uncomfortable ways correct yeah but i just I feel like that always happens i would bring up a story that yeah. would make us all think about some situations right no it was great so, man yeah. i liked it uh in lighter news secret intelligence I had <laughs> I had to think about this story. So the police were able to identify a suspect in uh the St. Petersburg bombing thanks to a flash drive found in a sausage in the crime scene. I don't know why and I cannot find why I looked all, all fucking over to try and find out where 
and how this fucking USB drive got into a sausage. But what? that is where they found it, and it helped them solve the crime. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> they they found the flash drive in a sausage at the crime scene of a uh, St. Petersburg Peresnikok, uh, or Perek Rekstok bombing, thanks to a flash drive found in a sausage at the crime scene. Um, what the fuck? How did they it, even know to look in the sausage? Where I don't... I, I mean, you could probably tell it had been manipulated, right? What I'm thinking like, is that this is translated from a Russian site, right? I'm thinking the flash drive fell into, like, a package of sausage or, like, a bucket of sausage or a display of sausage, and it's not actually inside the sausage, but yeah. the fucking headline for this story is flash drive right. found inside sausage helps to identify bombing suspect. <laughs> <laughs> or somebody was eating a sausage and what, and the flash drive fell into their sausage. Right, like, a, like, like a probably says it sounds like somebody very upset. Somebody planted it. It's very possible that someone is all like, "I have pretty convenient." I have I have hidden the information in the sausage. <laughs> Chatter, what up, Chatter? Chatter? Well, welcome to the show. Uh, so uh, the police managed to discover to figure out the flash drive contained bomb designs and threats towards the Dier Center. Um, uh, offering health and prosperity workshops um, and that, there's like a bunch of propaganda on the drive and it seems as though it was from the guy who created the bomb right uh, so they were able to identify him thanks to a USB drive found inside the sausage <laughs> so, so fucking ridiculous <laughs> only in Russia dude only in Russia um, was, yep yeah, like this is a story written by Seth Rogen. You know what I mean? Is <laughs> this like I'm gonna be a news reporter for it and write this stupid? Is this the script for story. Sausage Party Two? Like, yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so the sausage interview. What do you guys think about this car? Chat, feel free to ring in. What do you think about this car? I think it's it is long. a cool fucking looking car, it's really right? Really pretty, right? I feel like it, this is definitely Batman's car if Batman was a stuck-up European prick instead of an American prick. That's a Mercedes. It's uh, badass, it dude. is a yeah, uh, Mercedes Benz limousine. Limousine. Mm -hmm. oh, it's fucking sweet. badass, dude. So, Chatta TV is 100% correct. This is Hitler's car. This is the, uh, that doesn't surprise me. the armored Mercedes Benz limousine, uh, owned by Hitler that is now currently on sale. Does not mean that, be that vehicle isn't beautiful. Yeah. Right. I was wondering, I was like, it does look like one of the old Nazi Germany cars. Right, but it is. Strictly because of the seats. Yeah. Uh, the 770,000, uh, yeah, 770,000 Grossier Offener Touring Wagon, a uh, large convertible touring car, was delivered to the German dictator Adolf Hitler just weeks before he plunged the planet into its most devastating conflict. Uh, captured by U.S. forces at the end of the war, it is now set to be auctioned on January 18th by Arizona Worldwide Auctioneers. It's the new Tesla. <laughs> God damn it. Dude, if the new <laughs> Tesla looked like this, I would fucking work my ass off to get a new Tesla. <laughs> right. I'd be like, oh my god, I'm getting one of those. Right. Uh, it's li entirely likely the car could end up be ranking as one of the history's most expensive cars um, because of the people yeah. that are talking about like, bidding on this. Like, it runs entirely on poop sculptures. It's really nice. I don't god know. Damn. I feel weird sitting in there and like, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean that thing's fucking sick. If I was a millionaire and like my family's history is Jewish and shit, you know, so we have like a lot of history with World War Two. Right. You caught out, but I think Oh, I'd still buy it because it's fucking sick. Right. If I had that much disposable income, I'm saying. Right. Uh according to historical and I would research. Put a Tesla. <laughs> Sorry, 
According to historical research provided by worldwide auctioneers, the car ignominiously uh, ended its Nazi career as a getaway car. In the closing weeks of the Second World War, a carload of SS officers were reportedly using the limousine to flee the Allied advance when they were ambushed wow. and killed by partisans near the Belgian border. They like, killed in the car? That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Maybe. That makes me want the car more. Right. Doesn't say <laughs> if they yeah, were killed in the car. Nazis were killed in this thing? <laughs> right. Fuck! That is amazing. Like the, the big guns of the Nazis. Right. The car was shipped yeah. to the United States by Tom Austin, an exporter who acquired the vehicle in trade for... Oh, Jesus. Crap. All right. Let me go back to get that. Uh, traded it for... Eighteen hundred dollars in tobacco. Where did that go? Wow. Yeah. There it is. Uh from nineteen forty nine to nineteen seventy six the car was owned by the veterans of the Foreign Wars branch in Tennessee, whose members used it to carry the mothers of fallen soldiers in local parades. I wonder if anyone actually knew that. Do you th do you think Yeah, that's getting a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just thinking you know, now. Man, like, I really want this car, but if I'm buying it from a bunch of fucking neo Nazis, well, yeah. But like, see, what I'm saying is that the veterans of foreign wars, right, branch in Tennessee, yeah, carry the Tennessee, mothers. That's where I'm like, man. carry the mothers of local fallen soldiers. And how far did I go down with the QAnon stuff? I that's coming in a future episode. Uh, still working on it. I am still in that hole. So, <laughs> cool. um, I don't even know what this is. What you it, is that what anonymous? Is that what no, no, no. I, I mean, I, I won't get into it now. But we're on All our right, way. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't ruin it. Don't ruin. It. I want to see that shit. Still says uh, uh, that they knew, but it was sort of their fuck you to the Nazis. I, I just, you know, okay. Is the spirit That's of cool, is Hitler like haunting those ladies now? Like, yeah. You know. Anyway, Hitler's car available for sale. None of us can afford it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so this story I'm calling terrorists <laughs> and it has a little bird there right? <laughs> uh, late Saturday morning a bird flew out of the cold Detroit sky across an airfield and into the cockpit of a jetliner bound for South Atlanta so this bird then oh. proceeded to terrorize the airplane for hours uh, so what the, they took off? So for eventually, right? I don't uh, know where this is going, but this is really amusing. <laughs> so the stowaway got on board, and then they were stuck grounded for hours, right? Because they're all Jesus. like, "There's a bird on the plane. We can't get out." Right? Uh, so yeah. they send a bunch of people there. The like pilots just like hanging out with the people. Uh. There's a, there's a bird in the cockpit and they can't find it, right? Uh, so they had a bunch of workers come in and the, they didn't find anything and they thought, you know, it just must have gone out the hatch underneath the plane. The explanation was that the bird apparently flew out of some sort of hatch under the plane, which seems strange to me, the pilot said. Uh, he recalled... Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, that seems like bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, the the pilot said to the passengers, we're going to take off, but if I hear any chirping in the cockpit, I'll turn around. Uh, I took that as a joke, said one of the guys on the plane. Uh, now accounts begin to differ, but uh, per the, the guy who's giving this account says he doesn't think they were in the air more than five minutes before the bird made a second appearance. The Delta spokesman described uh, the time as shortly after takeoff, uh, but for Brian Bunasisi, uh, a traveling DJ in the middle of an exhausting New York to Detroit to Atlanta to Florida connection, it felt as if they had been uh, flying for an hour before the captain came back on and said, the bird is back. Uh, the bird is flying around the cockpit. <laughs> and apparently the bird's just going fucking buck wild throughout the cockpit, right? Yeah. Jasper dog. They gotta wonder the pressure change probably wigs out. Right, exactly. Who would win? Poor yeah. little bird. A seven forty seven full of people or one chickadee. And it's <laughs> well, it apparently ends up being the bird, right? So yeah. <laughs> they get put back down and then the bird hides again. 
So they send in crews <laughs> looking for the like, bird again. Fuck you, the altitude changed. I know what I'm doing. Right. The flight tracker shows that the plane made a big loop around Detroit and then landed back where it started shortly after noon. Um, then the men in yellow who uh, worked uh, on board uh, came back in and the search re resumed. By now, people were in danger of missing their connections. So the passengers started to uh, walk back to gate to find other flights. And one of the, the guy who was giving this account sat in his seat and watched a somewhat disgruntled looking pilot watch the workers working for, looking for the bird. Um, uh, a couple of the other people got back on the plane. Uh not being able to find a faster way to get to his DJ gig and a few more minutes passed. Then a worker finally came out with the bird in uh, a towel. Uh, the small bird managed What's to ground in a, a towel. Yeah. Managed Sounds to Sounds like dumb and dumber. Right. Exactly. And he had tape around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> they managed to get the, the small bird managed to ground a 55 ton flying machine. Uh, <laughs> the bird was safely removed and set free. <laughs> If that bird will wow. ever get to Georgia, we're never sure. So, fuck I yeah! I just don't see why they American Airlines it. <laughs> so just this drag it out, this punch little, it in its face. This little bird grounded and wasted a shit ton of people's time. And so much money too, right? Exactly. That's such an expensive little fucking bird, dude. <laughs> Right? Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's a story. <laughs> right? I mean, it's good for us. Go, go, bird. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> I can't believe they let it go. I would have been like, I am keeping this as a trophy. Best bird. This is the, yeah. plane, the plane stopper bird. Oh, I would have definitely cooked him. They should have let a cat I should have made that. Just see what happened. <laughs> what would happen? I would eat Sparrow. Cats and birds on a plane. <laughs> All right, in our next story, Ohio man beats world's most pointless record. How so, many burritos? How many shit sculptures can you make out of one burrito? Well, he's, I mean, you're both not too far from it. Oh, uh, that's really too bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not all heroes wear capes, but as it turns out, this one sometimes does. Chipotle Mexican Grill is recognized, uh, has recognized one of its fans, uh, a Tiffin, uh, Ohio man named Bruce Wayne. That's his actual fucking name. I hate this Somebody guy so fucking much. Somebody this guy over with a fucking tracker. What? Right. Uh, who has spent the last... No. <laughs> right. So here's the thing. He has spent the last 426 consecutive days eating at least one entree per day from his local Chipotle. Oh, disgusting. He's gross. Just disgusting. Yeah. You just Super told me that for gross. 426 days, this guy has had explosive diarrhea. <laughs> right, exactly. That's why I said like, you guys both, both were both weren't too far off. Let me guess. <laughs> he also is a surgeon in Jersey. <laughs> And a sculptor in Russia. Right. So he beat the previous record by one day. 425 oh, was the previous record. record already. Yes. Why the fuck would that be something that you would live <laughs> up to? Right. And put on social media. Once again, like, people, come on. Uh, fuck. I'm never going to eat at Chipotle ever because of this. <laughs> it really just grossed me out. I don't eat there because their shit's real gross, but... Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> uh, all right. So now that we know that there are stupid people out there, we'll move on to more stupid people. Uh, <laughs> what does it have in its nasty pockets? Uh, <laughs> police in North Carolina discovered thousands of doses of heroin, gun, and human teeth on a man detained during a suspected shoplifting investigation on Christmas Eve. And human teeth. Yeah. Did you guys hear that list that's of not, stuff that the guys? That's yeah. Not something you want to have on you. This is Why the guy you, too. If you're by gonna way. shoplift, <laughs> yeah. If you're gonna shoplift, just leave all that shit at home. You, you're that's just not, shoplifting. That's not what you want to take. <laughs> yeah. You're not going and recruiting child soldiers. No, no, you don't need don't. all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. And, the, fuck? and this guy is not the one who was arrested. The, the photo. 
Right. Well, there's, no, this photo this is this guy, guy who had human teeth. This is the guy who had human teeth in his fucking pocket. I'm not pocket. surprised that he right. got a tattoo on his face. That's that's the guy that doesn't make good decisions. He was detained <laughs> in a South Carolina Walmart after employees saw a woman that was with him take $25 worth of merchandise without paying for them. Oh, shit. Right. And then they find this guy with thousands of doses of heroin and human teeth. Right? The gun is fine. I don't give a shit. Right? The, the, <laughs> It's the fact that he had thousands of doses thousands. of heroin and human teeth. <laughs> they, they, uh, I they... like free choppas, free choppas quote right there. Two out of three victimless crimes ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh shit. They allegedly, they, they alleged that he smelled of marijuana, which was the only reason that they brought him in. Idiot. He had no marijuana on him, but he had. Thousands of doses of heroin. <laughs> yeah, I want to know how much the teeth were worth. Are they value, attributing value to the teeth as well? <laughs> right. Um, he stole thirty dollars and seven dollars worth of teeth. Oh, apparently he did have marijuana on him. Never mind. It says later on here in the article. I guess I looked over that part, but uh, they had three thousand doses of heroin, uh, some random pills, fentanyl patches. That seems like a, so much heroin. Marijuana. More than two thousand dollars and two human teeth, which apparently later was found to belong to him. So his own teeth. Okay, that makes sense. It does, but imagine being the cop that's all like, "Are these human teeth?" Oh, <laughs> yeah. <God. laughs> like he's like, "Are you El Chapo?" <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Are you El Chupacabra? Um, I oh, fuck. I don't know what people in North Carolina sound like. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah, no. I just went for you know someone from not in the northwest, which to me all sound like people from the south. I'm just joking. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> North definitely has its own. Because people from Maine accent. sound like they're going way up there. But uh, anyway, enough with this story because it turns out it's just his own teeth. But it's really entertaining to say it beforehand. Uh, no, that's pretty funny. So not mine. Um, <laughs> this was an argument that was doomed to fail. In fact, it took a state superior court panel just five pages to reject the prison inmate Edwin Greco Willie Biggs's claim that the drugs the guards found in his anus weren't his. Yeah. <laughs> um, isn't possession like nine <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm not sure how much more you can possess something. <laughs> are, are, are you sure that's not yours? Oh, or, God. <laughs> did someone leave them in your butt? Yeah. Oh. Have you recently had surgery in Jersey? <laughs> <laughs> um, he was the subject of a strip search when a corrections officer saw another inmate pass something to him in the state prison in Fayette. When Willie Briggs was ordered to bend over and spread his buttocks, the searchers found a small bag sticking out of his rectum. Inside that bag was a blue balloon containing synthetic marijuana. Uh, in April, a Fayette J a County judge sentenced Willie Briggs, 36 Clarion, to an extra three to six years in prison for possessing contraband. In appealing to the state court, Wiley Biggs was contended that the prison officials didn't prove that the synthetic marijuana was his. Uh, Platt promptly discounted that claim, finding the evidence was insufficient to support contraband contradiction. So technically, I think he's right. That wasn't his. Someone passed it to him and said, put this up your butt. Yeah. Well, but, but, then, but then he was busted with it, so. Yeah. And then possession, nine-tenths, yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you get caught crossing the border from Mexico to U.S. with I mean, you're a in fucking jail. You suitcase full of coke, <laughs> right? They don't fucking say, "Well, technically, this is El Chapo, so he <laughs> keistered it." Yeah, to you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for synthetic marijuana, that's like going to prison for attempted murder. <laughs> I mean, attempted murder is definitely something people should go to jail for. Chad says uh, that he was a prison guard for a few months and that the, the story makes sense. Yeah. 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 
I mean, I'm not doubting the guy's story. I'm just saying, you put it up your ass, bro. <laughs> Here's and one of my. Got caught with it up your ass, bro. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if yeah. you don't, if you don't want to take possession of it, don't keister it. Yep. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> when the dude hands you the contraband, you look at him and say, "I don't want to put this up my butt." And then the guards will take that man into custody. <laughs> right? Yeah. Problem solved. Chad well, probably like his situation later. was more like, I don't want to put this up my butt, but if I don't, my cellmate's going to stab me to death with a broken Ooh. fork. Right. Chad had just said that <laughs> but, there was a chance that the guy was intimidated into holding the drugs. I was uh, going I to that. make a comment on how we, as a bunch of soft, white, fluffy guys sitting on the internet, uh, probably yeah. do not understand prison cultures inside. So. <laughs> Most likely. So here's one of my favorite stories from today. So what do you think is happening here? Still knows. Okay, this, still I knows think... what's happening. So yeah, uh, don't ruin it. Still. Don't ruin it. Still. <laughs> okay. Can I be honest? The yeah. Has something to do with it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think a Russian guy made a shit island <laughs> these people are playing chess on it but they're also scared to leave because it's surrounded by the second loch ness monster <laughs> all right shana what do you think is here free chopper rice says survivor checkmate mate i'm thinking we're in australia they're playing chess on the island that they voted out to but i don't know where what the hell that has any meaning or why that would be interesting <laughs> all right so a group of new zealanders we're pretty close has constructed a sand island in coastal waters seemingly in a creative attempt to avoid a ban on public drinking <laughs> dude that's awesome the group built the structure at low tide in the tiora estuary in the Coromandel peninsula on sunday afternoon reports said then they installed a picnic table and icebox for drinks. Locals joked that they were in international waters and thus exempt from the official liquor ban. Number one, <laughs> that's never going to fucking work. <laughs> Number two, <laughs> cheers. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the group drank into the night on New Year's Eve. Watching the fireworks reported New Zealand uh, website stuff.co.nz and New Zealand. And uh, construction or construction was still intact on Monday morning. A ban on public uh, drinking is in force in Cormorandel over the New Year period, and those who violated the ban would sub uh, face a fine of up to two hundred and fifty dollars, which is one hundred and eighty yeah, US. Fuck that shit. Yeah, or arrest. What is this Nazi Germany? Let them fucking get <laughs> drunk on New Year's on the beach, you fucking assholes. Uh, now they're probably gonna drown because you made them build an <laughs> island. They got drunk on a <laughs> sand <fucking> barge. Shitheads. <laughs> Get the fuck out of government. <laughs> but authorities seem to be taking the initiative in lighthearted spirit. That's creative thinking. If I had known about it, I probably would have joined them, said local police commander Inspector John <laughs> Kelly. Yeah! <laughs> um, nice. <laughs> Mr. Saunders told the uh, BBC, it was great to see some Kiwis having a bit of fun. Uh, I don't know who Mr. Saunders is. Hold on. Uh, whatever. Um, but a well-known community organizer, uh, no Naughty Watts, said the van was not working and simply resulted in swaths of arrests. Uh, he said the, drunk, the police were dealing with drunk teens, and that's not what they're there for. Um, that's what the parents are there for, according to the New Zealand Herald. The police in St. John were getting frustrated with the result and said it had to change. Uh, but these guys totally got away with it, by the way. That's fucking great. Yeah. They deserve to. I mean, that's good. <laughs> they do. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a <laughs> shitty pedal pub. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's a self-powered pedal boat. <laughs> if you... we didn't have already like towns and beaches on the coast that allow you to just walk around with alcohol, I would fucking do this on our coast. So I, I'm a I'm a little bit worried that a American laws are yeah a little bit less played with. Yeah, a little less cool. Yeah, dude, we need to go find a place that's got like you know an underwater mountain that's just off the coast or whatever that we can just deliver sand to to make a new island. Call it yeah. fucking Freedom <laughs> Island. 
Skep Talk Land. <laughs> All right, so we're moving out of news and into the the chat and talk session. Uh, cool. Our first question today: the recess. How did they get out there? I'm assuming somebody dropped them off at a boat. They were drunk. They fucking they just time floated. traveled out there. <laughs> All of a sudden, I was drunk and on this island. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, so we'll start. It was parked on the beach. <laughs> We're gonna start with Shayna today. After you survive the apocalypse, what will your job be? Survive. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fair. <laughs> what I mean, will you take a function in your new uh, post-apocalyptic <laughs> life, or That's a very confident uh, if question? Yeah, if if people are willing to communally live and not try to kill me or my family, absolutely. <laughs> right. Well, what would you do? What would I do? Uh, probably something re researching logistics, <laughs> things okay. of the nature to help people. Yep, you're dead. You're dead. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> right. Get, get the fuck out of here, Jason. What are you doing? Uh, okay. Preacher. Here's why. All right. World fucking ends. Right. right. All the religions came true, but now they need guidance. Oh, new new religion. God damn right. I'm going to be <laughs> fucking rich. I'm going to have so many packs of ramen. Dude. Cans of beans. Fuck. <laughs> Giant cans of Thanksgiving dinner. Right. Uh, after my excessive amount of post-apocalyptic research, uh, Raider Lord. Like, I mean, Fuck yeah. it doesn't make okay, any, good. everything else doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'll come take your guys' shit. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm going to be the preacher in the Raider Lord's camp, bro. Yeah, and I'm going to be go. your, log lo your log logistics expert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's, help people. See, That's this is exactly why you always pick Raider Lord, because everybody's all like, oh, I'm just going to follow this guy. Like, <laughs> yeah. He seems to know what he's doing. Uh, Reese says a, sca a scrounger. Uh, <laughs> free Chopper says still offering free chopper rides. <laughs> <laughs> Twisty Top Hatter says ammo girl like a cigarette girl but with valuables and ammo uh, while have, all while having my large dude buddies guarding and raiding excellent Dodd all will right. be a fix it guy yes. excellent alright second question we'll start with Jason what job would you be absolutely terrible at oh shit there's a lot of them oh Chad we got uh... a spot for you in our fucking raider gang I could use cannabis for fucking all sorts of shit. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I can Jason. already tell you what I'm absolutely terrible at. Right. And that's fucking door to door anything. Ah. I'm absolutely trash with it. I fucking try, even if I'm like selling or even trying to get you to sign a petition, like worked for this campaign at one point. Chad, thank you very much for the host. Politician. Uh, any of that stuff, I'm just brutally honest. I'm like, this this vacuum's a piece of shit. It's fucking two thousand dollars. You don't need a two thousand dollar vacuum. <laughs> you just can't, <laughs> like, can't lie to these people. <laughs> like I'm just I'm just gonna leave. Sorry for bothering you. <laughs> All right, Shayna. What job would I be absolutely terrible at? Right. <laughs> um. Ah, uh, let me. I, I was reading the chat, so I got completely distracted. But um, got probably a whole lot of things. What would I be absolutely terrible at? I'm all, yeah. I'm still thinking of about apocalyptic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit's going crazy in the chat about it still. <laughs> what job would I be absolutely terrible? Can you? Uh, I gotta think about that. All right, I'll, I'll go. Uh, I mean, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. So I'm thinking, like, the worst job ever for me is, like, the, like, cleaning. So, like, if I were going to do, like, clean uh, a fucking, uh, like, a like a hotel room or something like that, uh, I can tell by the way that I, like, it takes me, like, fucking three hours to do dishes, dude. Because I'm, like, I'm going to eat off of these and I'm garbage at cleaning. So, like, I, like go through it again i'm like these are fucking filthy and i have to like wash everything over again because i find that i have completely fucked up on washing a fork 
or whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> I stand out and be like, oh, this this room's good enough. And then, like, if somebody comes in and be like, we should really call a cleaning person for this room. <laughs> yeah, right. We need to hire a guy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Tristy says that she would be a terrible surgeon. Quinn says that he would be a terrible person for retail. <laughs> Free Chopper says that he would be terrible at talking down suicidal jumpers. <laughs> I think he'd be pretty good. What if jump, you're just like, jump, hey, jump, jump. You, want a, you want a free chopper ride? Wow. Huh? Especially yeah. from my chopper. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, okay, that's fair. Get down. I think you should do it. You want a free ride? Get on <laughs> down here. Get... <laughs> yeah. It's way faster going down. Uh, all right. Uh, Jason. Oh, stop. What would your perfect Saturday be like? Shit, perfect Saturday. Perfect Saturday right now consists of really, it's really fucking simple. I just don't have to work. Oh, <laughs> done. <laughs> awesome. I can just drink all day long. That'd be fucking great. Just mimosas and fucking shitty fried foods. That'd be great. And heartburn medicine, because that sounds atrocious. All right, Shana, what's your perfect Saturday? Relax most of the day and maybe go out, maybe not. <laughs> Whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> so No obligations at all. I see where everybody's going with this. <laughs> I think I'm going to go a different direction. I thought you were. My perfect Saturday would start off where I wake up and I'm a magical wizard. <laughs> and basically everybody has to bow down before me or face my lightning bolts of terror <laughs> I that leave... escalated really quickly <laughs> I, I leave my terrible mountain castle where everyone is scared of me <laughs> and I wander out into the world making everyone behave to my perfect specifications <laughs> anyway <laughs> it continues like that until you know Sunday comes and then I tear it back to Saturday so it can be perfect again because <laughs> you're a wizard because I'm a wizard right yeah the last spell I cast every day is make it Saturday again. <laughs> I didn't know we could go that route of just make believe shit I right. thought it had to be somewhat realistic because no. that would have been like getting fucking kidnapped by Rick <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to head so... through interdimensional traveler yeah free that chopper rides tight. me the rock a helicopter and the sunset <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh shit Reese says in Afterworlds that's I mean thank you very much for yeah. for that <laughs> uh, Quinn says perfect Saturday unlimited amount of tires fuel and a thousand fucking wheel horsepower Mark 4 Toyota Supra all on Willow Springs I don't know what any of that is for <laughs> except for I tires love, and I fuel. love airplanes too <laughs> drive a vehicle really really fast I don't yeah, want it's the new Tesla. I don't keep up with soccer. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, assumed it would be realistic. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I exactly. I, everybody said the same thing, and I was like, oh, I'm assuming it'd be realistic too. But then I was like, what if I was a wizard? Anyway. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, that'd be way better. What mildly annoying curse do you wish you could curse people with, Shayna? The, the need, oh, the mildly annoying curse you wish you could curse people with. The need to, <laughs> like, explosive diarrhea, are they? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's not mildly annoying. <laughs> Just the need to go to the bathroom a lot. All right, Jason, what I mildly can, annoying curse do you wish you could curse people with? Really rough. I would curse somebody with the inability to ever wear shoes. Yeah. So they're like, well, anytime I leave the meadow, I'm fucked. <laughs> We've got ingrown toenail curse, flatulency, itching. I wish I could curse people into never using the left lane on the freeway. Itchiness in areas you can't reach. Uh, I've got no tall Go people ever in front of me, ever. <laughs> <laughs> so uh i'm saying a small cut on the left side of your tongue 
that never heals. Ugh. Can't just get infected either. That's, that's why it's yeah. annoying either. Just every time you try to talk, it's like, mm, I wish I, I wish I could just not talk for a second. <laughs> yeah. Mildly annoying. And talk shit to me. Get the tongue curse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All right. What the hell happened to my tongue? Yeah, exactly. Uh, how much would you pay a hacker threatening to release your browser history to your friends and family? Jason. Uh, however much money <laughs> four, five, seven, six, two rounds cost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm with Squabbly and Chad at zero, dude. I ain't scared of nothing. I know, right? Yeah, I don't really give a shit. Dude, you want to know what back. porn sites I use? I will fucking send you links. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you want to get fucked up in the head? I'm not afraid of this either. Uh, yep. <laughs> no, no, zero cares. And, like, if you looked at my browsing history, shit is fucked up because I researched for this show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... So, uh, if your life had a mascot, what would that mascot be? Shayna. I feel like everybody else ought to be able to answer this for me. Right. <laughs> I bet it's... An it armadillo. A yeah, armadillo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, armadillo. <laughs> it would be a dragon. Or, it would be a cat. <laughs> Did you just call yourself a cat lady? Oh, shit. Maybe. Shots fired. <laughs> we have a crazy cat lady on this podcast. We should just have a crazy cat lady show. How many crazy cat ladies do we know? Uh, <laughs> I don't yeah. actually know about... Yeah, you guys have meetings I live stuff, with one. Right? I what, have a, a few friends. What, yeah. about, what about Twisty? Is Twisty crazy cat lady? Uh, we don't own any pets, unfortunately. Well, we have a turtle. But, she would uh, be if she could be. It's not a, really a pet. It's kind of just lurks in the water. We have a lurking turtle. Right. She would be, yeah. We would definitely be cat women. I'd be a cat woman with her. <laughs> I think my uh, my mascot would be a hunched over troll, like at a computer okay. keyboard. Because you're afraid of the sunlight. Correct. Got it. I, I yeah. I like it. I mean, for the last like fucking two months, I've just been in this fucking room. Doing stuff. <laughs> <I'm fucking screaming. laughs> uh, That's awesome. All right. Uh, I'd be a tar. I'd I'd mind be a tardigrade. Not that you asked me or anything. Oh, that's right. Well, fuck yourself. So. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> get, get, <laughs> yeah, exactly. get wrecked, Jason. I would say. Yeah. All right. Uh, what easy thing to do do you most often screw up, Jason? Wait, what was the question? What easy thing? Yeah, what easy thing do you most often screw up? Oh, fucking folding. I'm trash at it. <laughs> Apparently to me, all you have to do is ball it up and throw it in a drawer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shayna, what easy thing do you most often screw up? Allow, get it waking up when I need to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's really. I would say on some level it's hard, but it's really fucking not. I'm just a bit lazy, and it's. Good morning <laughs> for the I've worst. That no up worries. A lot. <laughs> I'm even a happy person in the morning, but it still sucks. Right. Um. God says my life, and uh, that's. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> I didn't mean to bring up the feeding myself properly. Subject. I screw up that often. <laughs> <laughs> uh i'm gonna have to say that basic remembering right like if i'm mm. all okay i just did the laundry if i remember in about 45 minutes i can switch them over and i'll get like a bunch of laundry done and i won't have much else to do today I'm seven so hours later yep. i walk into the laundry room and i'm all fuck like, <laughs> yeah. dude, that's totally me too. That's like every day with everything I start to do with like an internal timer, right? Like, I'll just, I'll just remember to yeah. do this. Fuck. <laughs> All right. I can cook like a 10 course meal, but if I have to fucking do two loads of laundry, give me a fucking week. God <laughs> says me too, Udo. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's uh, a guy thing. Free Chopper Ride says the easiest thing to do that he messes up is 
random moms. It's <laughs> fucking <laughs> amazing. All right, all right, all right. So, <laughs> uh, everybody's favorite segment, Be the Change. It's fucking time. So, once again, uh, our uh, fucking petition here. I posted it on fucking Facebook again, and it looks like we lost a signature. Oh, no, we gave. One what? signature. Okay. Okay. Because it was at I thirty-two. It in a... Can right. somebody unsign? Yeah, I don't know. It was a, it's at thirty-four now, right? We're we're, we're working. We'll get this to a hundred one fucking day. That's all we need to do is get this fucking petition to a hundred to find out. Drake, Dodd says. Uh I don't have a drink in front of me, but I'll drink as soon as the show's over. I have gotcha. water. <laughs> um yeah, you know what's fucked up too? I'm pretty sure I got kicked out of a group because I posted that in it. Oh, really? And it was unrelated. Yeah, I didn't really care for the group anyway. They're a bunch of fucking cry whiny fucking Republicans. Ah. Which, like, you know, they're most of them were chill, but like, somebody posts any conflicting ideology, <laughs> they're all like fucking snowflake, and I'm like, why? I don't actually care, but you're really mad right now. <laughs> think you're a snowflake <laughs> <laughs> so here's our first petition today it is oh man now i'm gonna be like worried about the word the word fucking uh. <laughs> petition to call sunscreen solar ointment because it sounds funnier straight up that is the entirety of this petition. There's 25 people who have signed this. I have a thought about a drinking I drink. actually really like this petition. <laughs> Solar ointment, man. It's simple. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's true. Right. It's normal. It is, it is a, this, is, this, is, this is the correct use. Change.org. Change for too <laughs> good. Right? petitioning anyone and everyone correct so these are all all of us are this is what it's pointed towards so all right moving on to the next one i actually really like this petition a lot so this petition is convince my wife to name our first son nerj nergi or Nergi. I don't know what it is. I lost a bet to my dad a few years back. The stakes? I now have to name my first son Nergi. My wife is against this name. I told her that if I received 100,000 supporters, she would have to consider. Help me be a man of my word. Not a pregnancy announcement. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> not a pregnancy announcement. This guy's only got 15 signatures, so he's got a long way to get before his kid's gonna be named Nergi, but I think that there should definitely be a kid named Nergi out there. I mean, okay, here's my only fucking Unless it's like Sergey, then it's Nerge. Yeah. Nerge would be awesome to name somebody else's kid this stuff, right? Right. But, like, it's also, like, signing a petition to guarantee he becomes a school shooter. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, this kid's gonna get fucking beat up a lot. Potential name for other children, Clovis or Tamales. It says Permales, but it's pronounced Tamales. <laughs> uh, anyway, I expect 100,000 sayers on this by, you know, next week. So. <laughs> so get to it, people. Right, exactly. Uh, here's an important one. This will this will divide the podcast. I but there will definitely be some people who who disagree. But outlaw artichokes, outlaw the growth, mm. use, possession, sale, and consumption of all artichokes and artichoke related <laughs> paraphernalia. <laughs> paraphernalia. <laughs> uh, there's a so there was a comment down here I really liked. Where to go? I'm signing because it's criminal to allow such rubbish in the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck are people against artichokes when there's so many other foods that are way worse? I agree. <laughs> like well, I will I will back this only because they I fucking hate like I love artichokes. My girlfriend is in the in the bedroom right now just raging. Them. She's watching the show and she's all like, <laughs> fuck you, you know, you put this in here because I like artichokes and 
<laughs> I mean, artichokes are awesome, but holy shit, getting to the good part fucking sucks. <laughs> There's a good part? Yeah, the fucking heart is awesome. That being said, pomegranates are way fucking worse. Whatever. And I love pomegranate juice. Ah. If you've ever eaten a pomegranate, you know what it's like to try to physically eat Legos. You <laughs> <laughs> you just basically not have to not suck. You just open one. And yeah. You just all like ah, done, right? Yeah, with all the seeds. Then you wash your beard out later, and you're good. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> ate one. I forgot about that. That's awesome. They're so delicious, though. Uh, all right. Uh, this, this is a petition here to get Chris Evans to put on the Captain America outfit and physically fight Donald Trump. I don't know if this is super American or the most anti-American thing I've ever heard Cap get, get the guy who plays Captain America to go fight the guy who plays the president. Yeah. We all know how much Chris I Evans hate, hates Trump and a lot of us, the people of the United States, do too. So let's make this happen. So anyway, even if you are a supporter of Trump, he's a professional wrestler. He should be able to hold his own. So... <laughs> Is this I'm, legal? I'm oh damn, it's extra legal. <laughs> it's extra legal. All right. Uh and I, okay, we've got two more. So, uh make sex illegal until you have children. There are too many teen pregnancies. This could reduce it by making sex illegal until after you have children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's so amazing <laughs> i mean it would force people to adopt right right so taking a look at what's going on there's 14 signatures and i there's no like there's not very many uh there's groom made me as an answer for uh for fucking uh why they did it someone said for the memes so <laughs> i'm not this could be real this could not be real <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, I'm whichever... not supporting this in any form. <laughs> right? I don't care how hard I fucking wrap my mind around this. It's not. Thought, thought asked what happens to people that break the law. Well, obviously they're forced to have children. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the kinds of people that make this kind of petition are the same kinds of people that sank women to the bottom of rivers and put them on fucking piles of burning sticks because they thought they were witches. <laughs> God damn. Right? <laughs> uh, all right. Our last one for today uh, is going to load eventually. Add the word yeet to the dictionary. Yeet? Yeah. So I kind of like it. To yeet is to violently throw an object that you deem to be worthless, inferior, or just plain garbage. It is not common or uncommon for the person participating in this act to yell the word yeet at the top of his or her lungs, notifying all surrounding uh, individuals that the area uh, or in the area that the said object is useless. John, hey man, happy 21st birthday. I got this for your special day. Hope you enjoy. Jack says, kid bops, are you serious? John says, I thought you liked it. It has some nice songs on it. And Jack says, yeet. So, <laughs> <laughs> Throw some shit at him. I'm gonna, we're going to risk it. I'm going to play this video. I don't actually, I didn't see this video. It didn't load the last time. So. Sarah, you want some? Oh, I've seen that shit. Just threw it into the crowd, yelled "Yeet!" <laughs> uh, anyway, "Yeet" deserves to be in the dictionary, I think. So, I love it. It's "Yeet" time. All right, so now we're going to move on to our main story for today. I'm the only one that knows what the hell this is. Are you guys ready for what doesn't exist? I'm guessing it's Australia. It has to be Australia, because that's the only thing I know that is a conspiracy <laughs> that doesn't exist, and it's, like, the fucking stupidest one. 
You haven't seen fucking the Finland controversy. What? <laughs> Finland? <laughs> fake, Why? Fake no one Finland. gives a shit about Finland. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> so. What the fuck? Finland. The Finnish are like, we wish we were Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Finland is not a real country. Finland was first created Fair. sometime during the Cold War between Russia and the West. It was also around this time that environmentalism and the idea of preserving our planet was really taking off. And it's due to both of those things that the main players in the Finland conspiracy came to work with each other so closely, Russia and Japan. Not only is it not a real country, but there's actually no landmass there at all, and the space between Sweden and Russia is actually open, uh, empty ocean. And I will be providing to you all of the evidence today that I have found to prove that Sweden or that Finland is not a real country. <laughs> all right, I want to see this. Are you ready, Shayna? Do you I guess so. Are you? A I'm curious where I had a classmate that went uh, for an exchange to Finland. I'm curious where he really went. I have answers <laughs> for that. Uh, so <laughs> don't you worry. <laughs> There's a question and answer section. Uh, <laughs> but uh so are you a finland believer shana at the beginning of this yes all right jason do you believe in finland i do i believe in the finland? idea of finland <laughs> how about you chat do you guys believe in finland all right so japan soviet relations have always been so sh had been shaky at best uh but also incredibly secretive even as early as 1925, Japan and the Soviet Union had secret deals with each other regarding fishing rights between the two countries, uh, with Soviet Union giving up much of its fishing rights to Japan with seemingly no explanation as to why. Uh, there was... Is that Saddam Hussein in the fucking middle of this picture? No, that's no, it's Stalin. Stalin. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> you might recognize it. No, there, buddy. Have you never seen a painting? <laughs> It's been a minute. I mean, Damn. arguably, he is looking a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You know, less in this photograph, but. Hey, I get to fucking overreact in whatever way I want, even if I'm wrong. Unfortunately, that man's face is seared into my brain. Yeah. All right. Oh, anyway. So the Japan-Soviet Union relations, 1925 to 1932, the quiet cooperation, uh, the early years following the establishment of diplomatic relations that were characterized by calm, uh, which was mainly the result of the partial restraint of the expansionist policies of the Japanese Empire prior to 1931. This is just some background information, right? Um... So there was trade agreements about the Pacific Ocean uh, adjacent to the Soviet coastline. Ratifications were exchanged in Tokyo on May 23rd, 1928. The agreement was ratified in the League of Nations Treaty Series on September 5th, 1928. Like, a lot of, a lot of this stuff, right? Uh, so the secret of treaties and alliances continued right up until just before the fall of the Soviet Union, when Gorbachev made trips to Japan months before the fall of the Soviet Union, starting the, uh, or stating the entire time how relations between them were improving, even when Soviet relations with the rest of the world were worsening. Uh, in fact, the entire past hundred years of Japanese relations, Japanese-Russian relations, uh, bring up many unanswered questions. Why, at the height of World War II, were battles between these two countries minimal, despite being on opposing sides? Why did Japan sign a peace treaty with Russia in 1941, just months before their allies Germany went to war with Russia? Why were relations between Japan and Russia always good throughout the Cold War, despite major geopolitical differences between the two countries? And uh, close geographical positions that would cause tensions? The answer is simple. They shared a common secret common asset that they worked in both of them worked in both of their favorites and that asset was finland so <laughs> it's a simple case of <laughs> fishing in the finnish sea transporting it across <laughs> the russia that was the real reason for the construction of the trans-siberian railway by the way and that shipping uh, it from Russia, or from Eastern Russia coast uh, to Japan under the disguise of Nokia products. This is why Nokia is the largest Finnish company. And that it's also why Japan is the largest importer of Nokia products, despite the fact that very few people own Nokia phones in the country. 
I used to. Right. Like 10 years ago. But not anymore. <laughs> Explain why it's still going on. Because they still work. <laughs> <laughs> Polly Jack Daniels, let me see if I can fix that link thing for you. Nah. It's just deciding that Nightbot has decided to go crazy. So uh, I apologize for the link getting deleted. Let's see. Uh, where was I going here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you guys' thoughts after my initial evidence? That's just the, the lay down. That's the, the big proposal is that Japan and Russia created Finland so that they could hide secret fishing rights there. I think that's baloney. <laughs> I think it's pretty intriguing I and in-depth. I definitely think there's something to the alliance between Japan and Russia, but I don't think it has anything to do with trying to obscure or, fit or I don't know, make up some island. I think there's some far more nefarious things were at play that <laughs> you say that but then the Rang Czech Republic the is pretty much just a yeah, fucking yeah. extension of Russian power I love this image by the way the fucking which fictional land do you want to in <laughs> fucking Finland Narnia <laughs> Australia uh, alright actually I would definitely live in Finland large. Finland's pretty awesome unless I guess it was the Shire or uh, I don't know I'd like to live in the Elvish, Elvish cities too <laughs> if you're in okay, Middle I'll Earth you more. have to live in fucking <laughs> Mordor right it's the only place that's fucking off the chain like all the time right so here's a video. All that is necessary for evil to triumph is Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a post-fact world. It's hard to overstate this fact, if it is indeed a fact. And it couldn't be more true, if it is true, of the so-called country of Finland, or Finland. <laughs> so here we're starting. What the fuck is with the star? I, what, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck is with Finn? Land. There's explanations Land for that. Land of the Finns. I gotta explain that one <laughs> later, too. <laughs> I know, I get it. I mean, I'm... This is the fish thing. Oh, uh, you put it together, did you? Why didn't did they you? just call it Gill Island? You, I don't know. You put it together, did you, Jason? <laughs> I did. Because... Inhabited by so-called Finns. This so -called. is uh, supposed to be a landmass between Sweden and Russia. Supposed to be. The capital is Helsinki. From my investigations, Wait. I found a source. That... Yeah? Okay, here's... I'm instantly confused. Are they saying that the landmass doesn't exist, or that the landmass is there, and it's a fake country because it's really just Russia? The landmass does not exist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which tells a different story. I'll be speaking to Henrocky, who is a self-proclaimed Finn, uh, who comes. We're from not going to get that far into the video. I guess, I, I guess we're we're going to get a little bit into it. I forgot the, the country of Finland but... was in fact created by an agreement between the Soviet Union and uh, Japan. They I can't take this guy's rocking though. I start to get seasick. Account. The more I watch this guy, Whereby the Soviet Union would allow Japan to fish in the Finnish Sea, which is like an area where I, uh, is supposed to be. Hold fucking still. And fish, uh, a large <laughs> amount of fish, of course, because uh, uh, fishing regulations don't apply to what the solid hell? land. <laughs> this fish and the products would be then transported across the uh, Trans-Siberian uh, Railway, which was built at the end of the nineteenth century, and uh, across Asia all the way into Japan. The company in charge of these uh, operations is uh, Nokia, which is uh, <laughs> one of Finland's uh, largest uh, companies. One of the countries that Nokia sells uh, the most products. Anyway, that's just what I wanted to show you guys. Is this guy? That guy's fucking crazy shit. Freaking... No, 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 no. The rocking makes him more believable. <laughs> yeah, I think it's because he's trying to calm down his fucking medication. Wobbly says 200 IQ. I mean, that makes more sense. Yeah, true. <laughs> All right, so let's get into a question and answer section here. Uh, okay. You may say, Udo, what about Finnish people? Are they all in on the conspiracy? Go ahead, say it. <laughs> Udo. 
what the fuck am I looking at? This is actually this is actually uh people in fin Finland uh and some sort of like thing they do. I don't know what's fin going on, but I, I searched for crazy Finland people and that's, uh, that's them. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking so, spot on. So no, they're not in on it. People from Finland genuinely okay. believe they're from Finland. In reality, they're, they're really... from small towns on either the eastern part of Sweden or the western part of Russia or the northern part of Estonia. Got it. Right. <laughs> so, uh... Oh, did PowerPoint crash? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, PowerPoint! You can do it. Dude, fucking Microsoft is against me to fucking showing off the real conspiracy here. <laughs> me, Fake uh, news. We destroy. X flight looks like a winner. Burning Man. No, <laughs> yeah. Burning Man's not this gay. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that was the joke. <laughs> All right, give me a second to get it back up. All right, PowerPoint. Yeah, show the guy on the right. right doesn't even look like he's having fun. He's like, I'm a prisoner. I'm not really in Finland. Finland's a fake. It's a lie. Right. Correct. Help me save me. They're Russians. Uh, from this slide, boom. Uh, get it going. Come on. All right, there we go. Uh, so here we go. <laughs> this image is amazing. It's all good, too. man. Uh, so what about? all of Finland's other exports other than Nokia. Finland's three biggest and three most well-known areas of industry are oil, tech, and science. Oil is gathered from offshore platforms where the rest of us believe the man land mass of Finland is. Again, the Japanese get to avoid rigging ex uh, regulations in respect. And the tech companies have already been explained uh, above with the Nokia post, uh, Nokia information I gave you guys earlier. And software companies can easily redirect their IP address through the Finnish area. As for other Finnish exports, well, claiming Santa comes from your country isn't a viable way to get people to believe. Okay, Finland sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All they do is have oil, Finland tech, and awesome. software, and then they're like, the only other thing to do here is drink and be so fucking happy that you're dancing in the snow looking like these fucking idiots over here. <laughs> How could you hate on this place? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. It does sound make believe, though. I get it. So, what about Helsinki? Uh, uh, you guys should read this image because this shit makes me fucking smile pretty hard, though. Fucking. I'm going to let you think. <laughs> all right. What about Helsinki? That is an enormous city <laughs> on the world. <laughs> That is an enormous city on the world stage. The answer? Helsinki is located in eastern Sweden. It's not like people flying there would notice. I think they would, actually. <laughs> well, I mean, they're just going to fly. I mean, you're, you're going to be able to tell which landmass you're flying into? Yeah. <laughs> what about... I'd be like, oh, weird, Helsinki... Wait, is Helsinki... I don't know where Helsinki is. I'll be honest with you. I gotta look at this That's the, the It's the capital of Finland. Well, on the map, I mean, that's I know just what be, it is. That's just fake, dude. That's not gonna be... Anyway, uh, what about elsewhere in Finland? Uh, there's a lot uh, to it, and it couldn't be all made up. 99% of Finland is forest. A lot of it doesn't need to be accounted for when addressing Finnish geography. It's just... Forest, what guys. the fuck? <laughs> this place looks amazing. <laughs> it is. It's just like drunken people trolling constantly. Uh, like he's hitting them with a tree. Right. <laughs> uh, so why do other countries go along with it? Uh, at first it was a sign of goodwill between Western countries and the Soviet Union. A bargaining chip that could be played. But Finland has since evolved into something much more. An idealistic placeholder for what countries could aspire to. No real country could consistently place first in education, healthcare, gender equality, literary rates, national stability, and the least corrupt government in the world. Freedom of the press. It's a concept of, uh, for countries and peoples to aspire to. 
But that's where the problems uh, about Finland's existence is disputed. No country in the world could possibly be that good. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean that's a fair argument. especially like, what do you mean the least? Yeah, they're doing too well, so they can't possibly exist. Right? Yeah, <laughs> they're all. Fake. It's a fair. It's a fair argument. Fake fucking news. <laughs> yeah. Why don't any it's, people it's in Finland own fucking the, clothing? That's my number question. Number one place in the world to be to raise children to be a parent. Right. They're, Is Finland? They're, they're, yeah. Yeah, their school system's pretty neat. Yeah, the legislation that they've been passing for family that in the last decade. Their yeah, but that's all. System. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's all fake news though, right? So like <laughs> So why the name Finland? The country was originally made for fishing. What do fish have? Finns. Thus Finland. That's asinine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really, Iceland? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb, but it's so cute. <laughs> uh, if you can think of a better fish pond, let me know. <laughs> so what about the Finnish language, uh, right? So this is something for, you know, homework for anybody else who wants to look into this. Uh, there are incredibly ridiculous... Uh... <laughs> oh, really, Greenland? <laughs> um, what about the Finnish language? Look up the similarities between Japanese and Finnish. It may surprise you how similar they are, which is consider uh, weird considering the vast differences between them. Or distances between them. And I looked this up, and it's really hard to know, to do to look much of it up if you don't know either Finnish or Japanese, or possibly need to know both. But <laughs> there's a lot of people that say that there are a lot of things. And there was like a an hour and a half long video I found that was going to go through a bunch of the examples, but I was like, that's an hour and a half fucking video. Fuck that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so... I'm Finnish, and your attack on my people and culture is insulting. Answer? I'm not insulting Finnish people or their culture. I don't even deny that there is a Finnish culture. What you have is a collective of a few million people identifying as Finnish, then, of course, a, a culture that will be built around it. I'm simply saying that the landmass of Finland doesn't actually, isn't actually there. And that doesn't mean it, there can't be a culture or identity of being Finnish. You guys, you guys following along, yeah. right? You can still yeah, be yeah, Finnish, yeah. but you just not you don't live where you think you live. Totally, totally. So like, you could be Finnish and you live in fucking Canada, right? You're just an idiot. You're just you just possibly a little. You're either in on it or just just mistaken. <laughs> Every chopper right says that's actually more insulting. <laughs> So, it's so insulting. This is an enormous conspiracy to keep secret. How could nobody else have realized it? Answer? Other people have realized it. But imagine the ridiculousness of the statement, I don't believe that Finland exists. Even if we did have undeniable proof of something put in front of us, we would still hold the opinion that most of our friends, family, and acquaintances who hold, hold to not to disrupt the, the social convention. It's part of the human condition. So other people who have realized this are just, you know, haven't come forward with it because they don't have a platform like Skeptalk Live. <laughs> <laughs> or Reddit, where I stole most of this presentation. Those from. poor Finnish people, they're just living in, like, rural Russia and shit. They're like, we're fucking Finnish. We don't wear fucking clothing. All we do is <laughs> make software technology and export oils. <laughs> right, exactly. And Russia's like, God, when are we going to fucking tell them they're Russian? <laughs> <laughs> so what about gps satellite images uh answer is it's manipulated and forged in the parts of estonia sweden and russia that are located as Finnish zones the gps locations are changed to match that of finland satellite images are forged this is what the part of the the world really looks like it looks like and where is this? Some kind of mutant double headed cock. <laughs> but the fuck, Denmark. How many people believe in the no fin theory? Well, I mean, we got 19 viewers, three people on the podcast. About 22. 22 or so. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming that I, you know, 
the, the, the rest of this evidence is as convincing to you guys as it was to me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, this I mean, I will say I can't disprove anything that's being said. There is a, a huge com community on Reddit and around the internet about this conspiracy and how Finland doesn't exist, and a bunch of people from Finland who are very angry about it. But <laughs> you're fucking mad. Why would you ever give a shit? Because you're what just. What if there was a bunch of people all over the world, dude? That was all like, Oregon doesn't exist. That's I wouldn't fine. give it a shit. It doesn't exist. Don't come here. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. We don't exist. Our charter was created by Saddam Hussein <laughs> and a bunch of fucking old people. Just the land of landmines. You don't want to be here. Yeah. Jibble says, hey, is that a grill? Yes, it is. Dana, you are a grill. <laughs> I'm a grill. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we know how the real world map looks like? Yes. Yes, uh, there was quite a few things. There was the, uh, I can't remember what the name of that one thing was. The, uh, different types of maps. Um, I'm drawing a blank name. Yes, uh, we do accept questions from the viewers. Correct, we do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, uh, this is the, the end of the presentation that I've got for the evidence on whether or not Finland actually exists. Uh, vile, uh, yeah, a little bit every once in a while when it's necessary, especially if I've got to get the drugs out. <laughs> you have to go back and uh, watch the beginning of the episode to see how that works. Hey, uh, Free Chopper Ride says, my only complaint is all the gold medals that Finland has won. Well, that's just the Russians and the Japanese winning. True. Right. <laughs> My biggest problem is Finland is the testicles on the Norway Sweden cock. And you can't fucking take away the testicles of the world of Earth. Dude. This is <laughs> maybe this is Europe's balls, man. Well, so Taiwan is on Earth and Earth maybe got it bitten off in a bit of passion. <laughs> Okay, fair. Just got to jump back fair. to earlier in the episode. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's great. Just to let everybody know, we've just jumped up to 25 viewers. Uh, that's cute. And What's up, everybody? Quite a few questions about uh, about my beard and eating ass and some other things like that. So <laughs> interesting questions coming through. Uh oh, am I the third member of ZZ Top? I, I fucking like wish, dude. I even a lot longer. Even, uh, yeah. yeah. And scraggular. Your beard's lots more full there. <laughs> right, but I think that, you know, I'd still make a lot more money than I do now if I was a third member of the fucking ZZ Top, dude. <laughs> oh, we got an edgelord chibble in here. Watch out, guys. Came straight <laughs> from League of Legends. Excellent. Uh, so, uh, all right. Uh, let's see. What else do we Is my name Udo? Yeah. And that is my name. Tate slap, that's fucking beautiful. <laughs> Dude, where did you get the fucking H3H3 H3 fucking... Are, are you, are you <laughs> so a sub good. on H3's fucking channel? Because if that's the case, that's where you get those fucking... What that? Um, it is a name that I picked up in uh, freshman year of high school. We were all uh, uh, forced to pick names in our German language class. And... Uh, I picked Udo after the name I really wanted was Taken, so uh, it was the only other three-letter name that was there, and it straight stuck. So I've just been like that for quite a while. Wobbly is saying classic Twitch chatters can't spam emotes. Not sure why. Oh, stupid bot that I added is just fucking muting people. That's not I what I want. Fuck you, Nightbot. Why not Adolf? Uh, it was not a choice. Auto mod message held for a reason identity. Hmm. Uh, they used to call me Adolf in school. <laughs> He's going crazy on shit. Um. All right. Well, I think that 
pretty much the the end of the show. I uh, burned through the content here at the end because we were laughing pretty hard. But uh, yeah, it was awesome. Excellent. Um. Oh, I should probably f- finish up with. Uh, all right, Shana, do you believe that Finland is a country now, or the land no. mass of Finland exists? Does it exist? I, well, while I do believe that that Russia and Japan might have some nefarious something going on, it's hard for me not to believe that that's a land mass, but I don't know. Now I'm in question. <laughs> what about you, Jason? I'm going to look further. I mean, <laughs> I can't disprove a fucking word of what was said to me tonight. <laughs> I've never been to Finland. You can't I just prove it say, other than just saying, like, dude, of course Finland's there, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I will say that Google Maps brings a pretty hard argument against that. And Unless most Google's of in history. on it because, you know. True. No, Nokia stuff. I know. It's big Google. It's big right. maps, bro. Yeah. It's big maps holding us down. Has- telling us Australia's real? Telling us Finland's real? What's next? <laughs> Iceland? Does Hide- it make fucking sense? Greenland? Hide- Is it green? Hiding the hole to uh, the inner uh, hollow earth. Exactly. Right. Antarctica. Antarctica. Because it's very possible that uh, Google is one of the guardians of the inner earth. True. Yeah. It could be the organization that actually employs the guardians. Well, it could be Fuck. either that or it's people from the hollow earth on the outside of the earth controlling everything alongside the reptilians true (laughs) all controlled by chris helmsworth correct (laughs) why is that is this satire i don't know i mean i just fucking threw him in there is this satire yeah it is satire right of course it's we are fucking for real Uh, every, every Tuesday and Thursday, we grab a crazy conspiracy theory and we attempt to, uh, show all of the, uh, you know, evidence that's brought forward on the conspiracy theory, uh, for the lulls. So, that's just how that works. Oh no, Tilting Fairy, you got fucking... Finland does not exist. I need to fucking tell Nightbot to quit fucking getting us for... Uh, Agreed. Spamming Nightbot, you're fucking next. Right, exactly. If you keep this shit up, you won't exist. Right. But yeah, uh, I think that's the end of the show. Please raise the level to cover Finland. <laughs> well, Vile, thanks for, for dropping in. Uh, Chibble, thanks for dropping in. Let me make sure I get everybody... Uh, well, it's deleting everybody's messages. I don't understand what's going on. Easy garbage. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, oh, uh, and Fargo, thank you very much for the the sub. Uh, thanks, man. Sorry if you guys came in to you know get some bad reactions at us. We didn't give them to you or whatever, but you know, or if you guys came for these reactions, I'm glad we could give them to you. So, uh, Chibble, <laughs> thank you very much for the the the, the nice, follow, guys. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, um, but we'll be back. Thursday with another episode and some of the the crazy other stuff that we carry. Vile, thank you very much. Uh, Squab is banned. Yeah, what, you're really? banned from talking in Scab Talk for three hundred eighty-eight more seconds. Oh, uh, I got gotcha. you. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, we'll have the moderators take care of that. I'm gonna go punish Nightbot as soon as we're done with this. Yeah. But so if anybody Delete wants to. That fucking automated piece of shit. <laughs> but he's got some other stuff that I'm working on, dude. Like. If you uh, if you type uh, uh, exclamation point help, it automatically says some shit, right? Uh, okay. About the following commands are active for users. The following command are available for Illuminati members, and the following commands are available for the subscribers. So I'm going to add different commands and some other shit. I just had no idea that it was going to start fucking with people, right? Like, <laughs> I gotta go in and find out where the settings for don't fuck with people are. Like, <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Apparently, Nightbot doesn't like capital fucking letters, and I don't give a shit what people post in our... In our uh, yeah, exactly. Right, because we're all adults here, and we're all gonna have fun. But, uh, so, alright, if anybody wants to join us for the after show, uh, the link to the Discord is down in the below, um, and... Are we gonna raid? Are we raiding? Yeah, let's find somebody to raid, dude. dude. That's always good to dude, do. Dude, uns- Uncivilized is on. 
Oh shit! We can get him again. We can do somebody different this time. Yeah, let's see if we can but find. He uh... was actually good. I liked him. Yeah, he's super. Fun. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he was actually watching me stream earlier. Comment my... some pretty funny shit. Go to my channel here and we'll pop this up and then. Come on, come on. Data says he's not live yet. Uh, just went live. It just gave me the note. The note if he might be sitting in uh, in not quite live, right? Oh yeah, true, true. So let's go take out talk shows, right? Because we're a talk show, and we'll go find other talk show and uh, see if we can find one who doesn't get mad at us again for this time. Uh, yeah, so we all miss it. A couple weeks ago, we got we go to these guys' fucking stream and like. Like, I don't know. They're jerking each other off over of video game fucking top 10 list that they created, which is just like a bunch of fucking just the worst top 10 list I think I've ever fucking seen. But there's a sports cast. Anyway, uh, just couldn't handle. You guys are talking about sports. There's, uh, let's see, NFL Cowboys in the picture of a butt. Um, That's fair. Dude, there's these just two dudes. A walk to the movies, all the money in the world. What's these guys? Oh, let's see, let's see what they look like. What are they doing? What are they talking about? Let's, oh, let's, no. let's, let's listen in you here. Pick. It takes place, what, 30, 30 Dude, do you think these guys would know what would happen if all of a sudden we hit them? Like, it even drops, it drops that, we, we talked about this <laughs> on the night when we saw it. It drops the whole... All right, dude, let's uh, get him. Future McGives, dude. Whether you're human dude, or is he going to ruin a B movie for me? It, it's, Maybe it's just kind of like it doesn't really so, matter like because the dark. they have, like, I guess, society. Right. Okay. So uh, I gotta grab his the, the yes thing here say yes and get to my thing. chat again. And then if you kind of like doubt, then Oops. they're like, Oops. that's when they're getting hunted by the Oops. Blade Runners. But um, dashboard. All right. So he's got. They're talking about Blade oh, Runner, dude. Do it. You get there from. The oh, movie. I didn't watch it. I don't want to. He's gonna ruin it. I don't want to watch the shit. Just, just fucking mute him, dude. <laughs> What? Just Fox mute him. Board? Okay, fine. I'll mute it. I'll mute it. Yeah, this guy's got almost nobody watching him, and uh, he's gonna be all like, "What?" All right, then, <laughs> then you gotta mute yourself, cause yeah, you're streaming the audio to me. Yeah, dude, I got so it. Cool. Blade Runner is trash, but very aesthetic. Yeah, good to go. Don't be fucking telling me anything about it, Tank. You shut the fuck up. Tank says nine out of ten IGN, dude. Nine out of ten IGN. That's amazing. All right, let's do this so we can play some PUBG, motherfuckers. Right. Well, we got to get into, got to do a little bit of app <coughs> after talk, see what everybody's thinking. Tilting Fairy yeah, yeah, says yeah. heart attack incoming. <laughs> right? <laughs> Holy shit, Shayna, you might be the first girl they ever speak to. Holy crap. <laughs> They're like Dragon Daughter. Oh, <laughs> oh she likes dragons. All right, guys. Thank you very much for joining the show. We'll see you guys on Thursday. Uh, enjoy the raid. Uh, we're going to go see what these guys are up to. And, uh, yeah. Peace. Let's see. That work? See playing that. Let's see, let's see. Are you guys are they coming in? What's going on? I'm gonna I'm gonna make sound. We only got one fucking viewer. What's going on? Twenty one, there we go. <laughs> see if they actually have anything. Yeah. I can't hear anything. <laughs> you ready, you ready, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Did they just figure us out? He just gave us a host. Yep. <laughs> All right, let me let me turn off my fucking thing so you guys can't hear him. Actually, they're not talking about it. So no, this is not a record. Well, we are recording this for YouTube, but we are doing it live. You know, try to involve, involve some people. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick welcome. shout out. Yeah, I don't want to shun you guys. Welcome, guys. Yeah, thank you. Um, but yeah, we were we were first tonight. We saw the movie. Um, it was uh, All the Money in the World. We just saw that for our first 2018 movie. Well, not 2018 movie, but first movie of the year of 2018. And then we're wrapping up the like the show with just talking about our top 10s for 2017. 
And spoiler, as you guys just came in now, Blade Runner number one for us that we agree on. Okay, so just a spoiler yeah, that's up the their, their list. Let it, let it so that's it. fucking yeah. fun. What you what you like the most? Yeah. What your favorite? We so we could quickly recap. Number ten, Lego Batman oh. movie. Number nine, Pirates of the Caribbean: Dead Man's Tales. Tales. Yeah, they're just giving their top ten. I gotta leave Discord too, man. I can hear okay. it through you. I know. It's All right, it's, they're the not talking about anything. They're talking five. about their top ten. Numbers. Number four, I know. Wind I know. Number All right, hold on. Let me. 